Go ahead, Phil. <gasps> oh my God, you did it! Holy shit! Wow, Phil, that was like, that was, that was nothing but net, yes! Phil, how did that shot feel? Off the uh, slides. He went in on the first try. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. And then I made one right before he, that. He did make, yeah, he made two of those already. I've, I've, I've yet to make one. Look at this, a rare Desi sighting. Hey bud, how are you? How are you, buddy boy? Teens has been letting the cats outside. I don't think it's a good idea. Cause we got coyotes and bears that would want to eat you and eagles. Bald eagles, Desi. But they think they're so badass. Look, you want to go in already? Okay, I'm is Oro out here? Yeah. Oh, where I is he? grab my bikini. Oh. Where's Oro? He's probably- At one point he was just sitting right here. He looked so miserable. <laughs> First thing we need on a Friday afternoon is a couple of cold ones. Phil loves these Smirnoff things. So I think I'm gonna do a green apple for him and an original. And I think Jerber is gonna try the Smirnoff pink ice lemonade. Teens, try a sip of this. It's really good. Pink lemonade, you'll like it. Look at Teens. She's been working hard to lose some weight and she looks amazing. What do you think? Not bad. It almost tastes like the original. Yeah, kind of. But like pink. All right, show us these yeah, birds. I don't know. Oh, yeah? Let's get a, <laughs> let's get a shot of that. This is the body of the COVID and pizza bill. <laughs> I gained a lot of weight during COVID too. Check this out. We got a family of birds living over here. So this was actually closed. Yeah. And we were gonna get rid of it and I went mm -hmm. to open it and we were like, whoa, that's a really big nest. So there's two birds that are actually hatched and there's eggs in there still. I think they so can see I them, don't right? can they see I them? don't know if like that's crazy. there's more eggs to come. Look at that. But they're in there. Teens has been feeding them birds. I've been trying seed. to leave some, I don't Water. know if bird, baby birds eat that, but I'm leaving it for the no. mom. You'd have to and chew those bath. up and throw it up into their mouths. Well, maybe the mom does that. That's the whole point. The mom hasn't been back. She. she I don't know them. where the mom is. She abandoned them. I, I hope not because I don't know how to take care of them, but Just hope, let's hope the cats I don't have been feeding this. other birds, so that's, you know. <laughs> hey, let's hope the cats don't find this. See, I already uh, made one off camera, but. Oh, of course you did. Of course you did. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Oh, so close. Oh, you do make you do make those a lot. But hey, we did kick ass last night in uh, volleyball, didn't we? We did. Alex was a weakling. Yeah, I won every single game. I beat them in horse, Kobe, and, and then I won. Wow. wow, wow. One more try. <laughs> see what you got. Come on. Oh, no, you're retired, the you're retired. All right, so we're done at the pool. It looked like it was getting a little cloudy. We weren't sure if it was gonna rain or not, but I went ahead and got dressed for the evening. Just wearing some uh, ripped jeans and an Alpha Elite t-shirt, nice and comfy. Teens is still in her bikini doing her makeup, but she looks. I'm trying to not look like a troll, you know? Oh, you never look like a troll. Watching a TV show. I wanted to show you, we got a uh, love sack. Oh. <gasps> Yes. Yeah, so I think this one, which one was this one? I don't know, but it's the second biggest one. Look how cool these are. Okay, you almost hit the ceiling or the wall there. Look at that. And it's, I don't think we've punched it enough times, but I think um, sure. you're supposed to like give it a couple days and you're supposed to like flip it and punch it and flip mm -hmm. it and punch it. It seemed like a lot of work, so. It's, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> But this is great. It's like one that can fit an adult and two children, or I guess two That's adults. That's the company. Love Sack, super comfortable. Very, very comfy. I cuddle with this every morning with my cats. Um, they but like it too. I'm also getting one size up, the big one. Yeah. I think it's actually called the big one. Uh huh. For the basement. Yeah. It's gonna be like a nice blue. But I love them. They're expensive, but they're lifetime. Uh, warranty and they're so amazing. Yeah, and it fills up the area. Amazing. Eventually, we'll probably put two chairs here and put that maybe and over not, there. There's but. so many bean bags out there where it's like you have to buy extra like stuff for the inside because Anyway, it's good. It comes with everything you need, I think yes, is what she was getting she at. Does. All right, so she's gonna finish getting ready. We're gonna go to the Porsche dealership, so Can stay I go tuned. Like this? Yeah, I think you should. Like yeah, this. I don't think they'll mind. Think they'll no. Mind, right? All right, we're finally ready to rock. Um, I just told Phil that we put the new tires on the car, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S's, and I actually absolutely love them. So, so donuts in the driveway. Donuts in the driveway. Teens is gonna take the uh, C8. Uh, we're gonna go in the R8. You wanna start it up for us, Phil? I'm still trying to decide if I want to put an exhaust on this or not. 
Capristo makes the titanium exhaust that sounds insane, but this one already sounds pretty really, like really, really good. <laughs> I love the view of the Lamborghini Diablo. I actually have an exhaust on the way from Manny at Moto Million, a Termignoni exhaust. It's gonna be badass, I can't wait for that. Let's get a, let's get a view of that C8 Corvette. Look at that thing. Oh, that's a badass car. We were laughing. Little teens walks out and then starts up her car and this big ass V8 American <laughs> muscle car fires up. Boom, boom, starts rattle, rattling everything, the whole damn house. Um, okay, so we're heading to Porsche of Mechanicsburg and we're gonna try out um, probably just the Cayenne, uh, maybe the Taycan if we have time. Okay, let's see how she feels. Holy shit! That's, that's the red line, Phil. I'm sorry. That's the red line. Come on, man. Delete that. Jesus. No, I'm showing everyone how horrible you are at pressing a button. That was unbelievable. All right, let's do a take two there. Phil didn't realize it didn't shift for you automatically because he's in race mode. Holy shysters! Oh God, it's so good. Look at her. She knows she'll get smoked. She doesn't want any of this. <laughs> it does look good though. I don't even know how to shift. Oh, really... Listen to that thing. Damn. I don't even know how to shift. <laughs> look, so Phil can't shift and he can't straighten his tires when he parks. Guys, look at this park job. Teens, you're a way better driver than he is. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, you know? But those tires look, it's nice that those tires look nice and beefy. I turn the car back on and straighten them out without rubbing the tire. Oh God, this guy. It's in the spot. It's all we'll, we'll, we'll count right? it. So here we're at Porsche Mechanicsburg and they have a lineup of Cayennes. So if you guys know, we're shopping for a new daily driver, basically an SUV to replace the Nissan Rogue. Um, what's up, buddy? And so we're going to check out some Cayennes. Um, our favorite so far is the Mercedes GLE 63. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to check these out. I think these are some of the best looking SUVs. And they also the have... Regular or the some, S? Uh, I want the GTS, which they probably don't right have here. here on the GTS. lot. They do have a GTS, right and that's a beautiful color scheme as well. Now, it's not a coupe version, just like the AMG Mercedes GLE. They make a version that slants down a little bit more, that looks a little bit better. But on the Porsche, Porsches, I should say, um, it's not as big of a deal. It still looks really, really nice. So maybe we'll have to get him to open this up and see how it looks in there. Phil, you see how cool the writing looks? The Porsches, like behind right there. Okay. This is a GTS. I think this is. These are like 500 horsepower, I want to say. It's got 2,900 miles on it. That's a perfect way to buy them. Look at the beautiful wheels, the rims on this. Look like really, it. really nice. Dude, actually, I, I, I'm kind of digging this. That's a cool color, too. We're going to wrap it anyway. Dude, imagine this in Miami blue, teens. Wrap it in like a baby blue. Black looks better. I think that looks... I th why does this look smaller than that? I don't know. We'll see what else they have. All right, what's your first name? Jay. Jay? Yeah. Nice to meet you. He, he works here at the dealership. We actually ran into him, if you remember our other video, we were driving down the highway together and checking it out. How do you like these? Oh man, they're great. They're amazing? Yeah. yeah, I actually really, really love the interior of these. I think it's the best Porsche interior. Look at that. Yeah, they're super configurable too. Awesome. Yeah. Smart, like, you can go and look at that. Uh-huh, look at that. Look how sick that is. That is really, really nice. Is this one that people can drive and try out? Oh uh, no, so this is just a customer car. Oh, it is, okay. A yeah, demo? Cool. Oh, dude, I want to try. Yeah, we need to try that. Because maybe instead of getting an SUV, we just get one of these. You can fit four people, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah, very nice. Good to see you, Jay. Yeah. That, that thing is, dude, that's the spec you want. He said they have a Turbo S we could try out. I can't believe that's like uh, Porsche makes it like that. Like with the rims and stuff. <laughs> I love it. And the wheel well. No, it it's looks like, awesome, right? I think it looks cool. Yeah, it looks just, very futuristic. A very bold choice. It looks like something you see in Star Wars, you know? Look at that thing. Oh, it's gone. It's Just so like that. cool. It's you don't so hear it. Quick. That's really nice. Okay, I'm not balling out of control like Teens and Jarrett, but this is a car that I could maybe afford. And it's all wheel drive. It's the RC350, which is a, pretty much a hybrid of the IS and the LC. And the automatic. thing looks like a Hot Wheels car. Look at that. That's sexy. It's not a fan of red, but it can work. Yeah, I mean, I would get it in like black, do a quick wrap a you know, teensies. I can see you in this. Yeah. Let's just take over Jerry's channel. Let's get out of here. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so, here's a brand new Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Look at this. Christina, what do you think about a Taycan as a daily driver? Nope. No? No? Nope. You're such an SUV girl. I need an SUV. Maybe. I already have a Corvette. 
Maybe I trade in my R8 and get a Titan. That's you. you, you could do that. What do you think about that? Sure. You'd never do it. No, he wouldn't. I, he can't give up that R8. I need the exhaust sound, but it is a very, I mean, you could put four people in there comfortably. Okay, what is this one over here? Is this a, is this a Cayenne? I believe it is. Okay, this is a Cayenne S. I love this. I think they call this chalk, the color. Oh, teens, this is the exact interior I was talking about. It's like a light taupe with a dark blue. It's beautiful. I actually think that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. No, Phil, it's sold. You don't want to go in there. Yeah. I want to see the back seat room and headroom. I love the panoramic roof. These are really nice. I love this spec. I love the front, how it doesn't look like a bug. Mm hmm. That, that's my biggest thing right about Look at that. Look at yeah. that. Yeah, a Cayman R. Those are badass. Race car you said it's a 2012? It's yeah. Race car. But, Phil, I mean. I actually don't fit in them very well. I was going to say. Seriously, I've, I don't. I haven't driven the Caymans. I've driven the Line 11s, which was really nice. But, yeah, a lot of choices. We're just waiting right now. We're going to take out a uh, Cayenne, so stay tuned. All right, so we're in the Porsche uh, spec configurator room, I guess you used to say, and we're looking at colors and stuff. I love this color. That's the Miami blue. What's that one? That one actually might even look a little bit better. Do we know what color that is? It's got, See, it's got a sparkle blue. to it. Can you pronounce that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that what. That is uh, Eponema. Eponema blue? Oh, oh, okay. Eponema. This is crazy. He was saying basically anything you want to do with a, with a Porsche, you can pretty much do it. That's Look at it. It shows you all the materials, all, all the different areas of the car, the leathers. Oh, like this one right here, I like a lot. These two. Like the light and... Oh, that, is that Alcantara? That is amazing. There's also... This color is really, really dope too. That might be the same one. I'm not sure. But it's really cool because you can get hands-on and see exactly what you're building and how you're building it. They can pull it up on the screen here if you want to spec it all out. This is actually really, really cool. All right, so we're checking out the space and everything. I was telling teens, it looks like similar space to the Nissan Rogue that we have. And then, Phil, how tall are you? Like 6'1"? 6'1". One, six, six, six one, yeah, yeah 6'1". He's in and the back seat. Is, yeah, back super and he far. has this back super far and he still has room. Like and Christina room. has a ton of room back here, which is important. And it has a panoramic sunroof, which is also really, really nice. And then the interior, the the uh, all of this up here is actually really really nice. You can even change how that how hard the air blows on you. Like they they can disperse the air and all that. Uh, the steering wheel I love. I love Porsche steering wheels. They're so freaking nice. This is all really nice too. There's not Look a lot. There's no room in here. Not a lot of space in there. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh wait. Maybe there is. No. Nope, there isn't. No. There isn't. <laughs> Cock teased it. This is the key right here. What do you put in here? It's pretty cool. It looks kind of like they always do like kind of like the outline of the car and stuff. Um, this is a nice big screen, all touch screen. The dash is pretty much all digital except for the, the tachometer, which Porsche is known to do that. I actually like the Taycan dash better than this. I wish they would have just done full digital across there, but other than that, it's uh, it's really, really nice. Trying out the Porsche uh, Cayenne. I believe this is just an S model, so we would get the GTS, but the GTS is pretty much the same. Obviously, there's a million different options. Um, first impressions, I love the Porsche steering wheel. I always have. I think it's super nice. The the all of the electronics and stuff, the dash infotainment is a lot nicer in person than it than it comes across uh, on video. And I actually like the size of this car. It feels it feels a little bit smaller than the the Audi and the Mercedes SUV. Don't you think, teens? Does this have mood lighting? Uh, it does. You can you can add mood lighting. Uh, I don't know how to turn it on, but that's an oh, option. Never mind, never like mind. everything in a, in the Porsches are pretty much options. Optional. Yeah, so you can like option stuff out. Like I think he said they start at like seventy, and you can option them all the way up to two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars if you want to. That's ridiculous. Save your pennies. Yeah. Well, seatbelt works back here. Yeah. So <laughs> we're gonna try this out a little bit here. See how the. I don't how know. The pickup is. Yeah. Oh, had a little bit of. What's uh, the horsepower? In this, I have no idea. 300 probably. I mean, just a regular ca uh, Cayenne. Not but bad. the GTS, I think, is 500 or something like that. So it gets pretty fast, and they sound they can sound really good as well. Is the interior of the GTS going to look different than this? It's it's basic. Similar. It's a very similar setup. Obviously, there's a million different options. You can get leather on every material. You can do, you know, pretty much anything you want with the interiors of the Porsches. So, but yeah, yeah. teens, it's the same base car. It's mainly just performance stuff, engine, suspension, you know, magnetic ride, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all that kind of stuff. So this is what you're gonna get. How's your room back there? Are you good back there? No, there's a lot. Of room Are like you showed with Phil. They're they're pretty comfortable. I love the sunroof, which is awesome. Yeah, it goes I all the way too. back. 
And, and it's nice that they're adjustable too. You can have five people in here and everyone will be comfy. Yeah. It's it's good. Uh, okay. Cool. Wait, Phil, what do you think? What do you think? I like it. I'm just trying to film and not do a terrible job. <laughs> I was giving Phil shit. It is probably terrible. Earlier. No, yeah. no, but what do you think of the car? If it sucks, comment. I think it's awesome and um, I like the room in the back for sure. Like, I'm tall and yeah. there was a lot of room. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Like, I feel like you just accidentally hit a lot of stuff on there. <laughs> like buttons. Because it's not there? tactile. It looks cool though. It's all touch screen. You know? So like, look how cool that looks though. It does look so, awesome. You're actually very right because back here there's a touch screen for the the climate each control person, yeah. yeah. And I touched so many things. Did you really? I was just trying to turn the knob to get air, and I like turned everything off. Yeah. yeah I will say I like this right here. So yeah, you can customize it that. Is cool. It's just um, mechanical in the yeah. middle, and then these you can, you can change, customize like, look, either you can the right the or the whole, left. Yeah, that's want, actually really badass. Very cool. Wait, how is it to drive this move? Well, um, there's this car that's yeah, been in front of us for forever. Let's see how it feels. All right, here we go. This is all the way down. We just bought it. No. The brakes feel very wooden and it might be brand new, I'm not sure, which means I probably shouldn't be ripping it. Um, but the acceleration is fine. That, that's not too bad. It feels really good, like the handling and stuff. We're gonna hit some curves. Jeez Louise. So we'll see how it feels. This is a fun road, go. Yeah, so let's see how it feels a little bit. Okay. Puts you in the it's, seat. It's got some It does, it's got it. It's got some pizzazz. It does. Let's see how it handles. Oh god. Oh, it's a roller coaster ride. Right. Right. Okay, so I think this is one of the sportier SUVs that we've driven as far as handling and stuff goes. Obviously acceleration, the GTS would be a lot faster. This one does feel very sporty compared to some of the other ones. Oh, that's right, you told me to test the paddle shifters. Those feel really good. Oh, listen to that. The handling is pretty dang on point here. Don't drop the camera, Phil. Oh, the driveway. <laughs> All right. That was unexpected. Let's see how it looks in front of the house. Looks pretty nice. <laughs> That, more importantly, whose is better? Let us know in the comment section below. Um, I mean, I do love, I love the look of these. I always have. Um, I think they look so good, so clean. Solid wheels. Yeah, the wheels are sick. Look at the headlights, you dude. You even hit them. Look at the Matrix display right there, Phil. See that? That is, is so gnarly. Neo in there? The, yeah, the Neo in there. Morpheus? The Porsche Crest is really nice, too. So, all right, I think I've, I've seen all I need to see at this point. Um, it's definitely on the list. But um, I think for me personally, the Mercedes is, is still higher up on the list. Yeah. What do you think, teens? We got to look at the GTS though. So let's, let's go check out the GTS. All right, Alex came out from studying. He's checking out the uh, Porsche here. Um, I told him he might as well turn it on and give us some revs because we didn't have any revs and now it's warmed up. So Alex, you want to do the, do the honors? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I can hear that it's in there. It just needs to be released. I don't know. Do you know what the the horsepower is on these, Alex? Offhand, a, a, a Cayenne S. Does it say on there, Phil? I want to say 300 something, 325 maybe, something like that. So the Cayenne Five. it ranges from 335 to 541, but the yeah. S is 434. Oh, so 400 could something. Be wrong. But okay. It's Google told something me. like that. How's it feel, Alex? It's pretty okay. A good amount it's of room. Comfy. It's comfy. Uh, the seats are comfortable and they're adjustable, Alex. And they're adjustable. It's nice. Which is nice. Yeah, and look at the pano headroom. I do like that. Oh, I see some sprinkles. Uh oh, we better get this back. We're gonna melt. Christina's gonna melt in the I rain. Melt. So we got back and uh, they pulled up a GTS that they have for sale. It's chalk on chalk and I actually absolutely love this spec. This is way more down my alley. I absolutely love how this thing is specced out. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, and see, and this even has the little um, dial on the, on the steering wheel. Oh, I love the blue, the light blue too. Christina, hey, how nice is this? I love this is beautiful and look the Alcantara headliner goes all the way up Wow, it even has the sport seats. I believe these are dude, and you can even hear it. Can I rev this real quick? So yeah, the difference in sound on this one. Go ahead <laughs> Dude, that is so much better Listen to that Wow, that's That's what I'm talking about dude. That sounds really good. All right, so cruising out of Porsche Mechanicsburg and um, got all the guys in there, super, super nice. And it was great to watch, uh, go, great to meet a bunch of them. Uh, a couple of them watched the channel and all that, so that's really cool. And um, I actually really like that GTS, uh, that 
Cayenne GTS, yeah. That one in chalk with chalk interior, like that thing is sick. Let me know what you guys think of that car. Would you rather see a Porsche uh, Cayenne GTS on the channel or a Mercedes AMG GLE 63S? Those are my two top runners right now as I'm looking at a brand new 911 Carrera 4S. You see that, Phil? Oh my God. And I still want to test drive a Titan Turbo S as well. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. I think we're gonna try and find some food and get out of the rain. That car is amazing looking. Isn't it look incredible? Well, Phil's getting to try out the, uh, the R8 in the rain. Be careful because there's going to be like trees down and stuff. It, but... It's a mid-engine car and puts uh, <laughs> weight on the driven tires. So. Yeah, it's also all-wheel drive. Should be okay. We're testing. Christina, Phil thinks that he knows a way back to our place that's faster. I think that it's the same pretty we're much. We're going to find out, aren't we? But one, the way that I'm, I it's think more it's faster, fun. that's what we're, we're both driving the speed limit. Yes. And then I'm going to, Keynes is going to go her way, I'm going to go my okay. way. And we're going to see who gets there first. And I'm pretty right. sure we're going to arrive pretty much Almost at the same, at the same time. time. That's yeah. what I think. Look how good that freaking C8 looks from the back right there. It looks so badass. I don't know if it's going to come across on camera, but it yeah. is gnarly as shit out here. I think this is the tail end of Elsa, which is what Phil drove through to get to us. He's a trooper, man. I think this is all wheel drive, huh? <laughs> Yeah, and I'm getting a nice car wash right now, too. So let's see if we can see teams up here. She probably. Okay. She might have beat us because we were sitting behind her. We got stuck really behind the camera. She could have hit a light too, so you never know. Oh, I think we beat her. Did we? Or did she already pull in and close the driveway? Oh, there she is. She got stuck behind a car. Look, there's a slow ass car in front of her. <laughs> Smoked your we ass, get teams. In there quick. We'll get yeah. in there quick. Get in there. Don't hit. Don't hit my Lambo bike. Oh. <laughs> but hey, you were right. You can go this way a little bit. Right there. Now straight. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna get out of Done. The car. Right there. Let's let's be waiting for her. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. Oh, yeah. Someone got smoked. Someone got smoked. I love these cars together. They're so awesome. Phil, you parked very close to my Lambo Diablo. Did you get stuck no, behind that good. car, that SUV? Um, no, I hit one light, which we never hit lights on that road, and I hit it. And that I did sat it. there for two minutes. And we got stuck oh, behind it. My way's faster? No. Because of lights. No. Because of lights. No. We didn't no, have lights. We got stuck behind We've us. never stopped at that light. Oh, really? It was so a weird one in the middle. It would be faster. Like the light on the straight? Yeah, and yeah. I was stuck behind a minivan. I saw going that. 30 miles I saw an hour the, the white one. So hard. I yeah. saw it. Look, that was the storm right there that we just drove through. That was gnarly, and now we got sunshine on the other side. Holy crap, that was crazy. Teens, we just keep getting caught in freaking thunderstorms was, these days. It, that, the raindrops here, like in Cali, we, you obviously don't get this type of stuff in California, maybe like once a year of that. Yeah. But the raindrops. I felt Massive. like rocks hitting my car. Yeah. It was insane. You know why that is? But it's so much fun if you're not driving in it. Like if I was sitting here and it was raining. It was just raining. We were in the back. Beautiful. Yeah. The but outside. it was nice to like come home and then it was like, oh, yeah. the sun. But I'm going to go get watermelon. By a local farmer. Support the local farmers. Yeah, so I'm and Phil's go got road sodas. And Phil's got no, it's not road soda, it's just lemonade. It's just regular lemonade. Or what is this? Blue. So, Icy. Just mm -hmm. icy oh, drinks. Look at them. <laughs> Look who we run into, coming down here on the side of the road. Oh man, it is wet as hell. What's up, bud? Hey, good to see you, man. We just took out the uh, Porsche SUV. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. They have a GTS in chalk gray with chalk interior. Dotto, it's badass. Yeah, so we're here at the uh, farm stand. And I think Teens is gonna get some watermelon. What are you getting, Dotto? I have no idea. Okay. Some veggies, you know, gotta trim up a little bit. <laughs> That's my car's full of beer. Hey, we're gonna go out to dinner later if you wanna come. Oh, you and A? Okay, cool. Things just got a little bit better. And then How's that sound? Yeah, pizza grill. I like that. All right, so we got a bunch of food from Farmer Ryan. It turns out he's the guy who actually plows our driveway in the winter, which is awesome. Great to actually meet him. And plows our field in the summer. Plows the fields. Yeah, plows the, it all year long. He was the one in the background of Christina's washing my C8 Corvette and video. I was like, the one time I want to wash with no There was around, a farmer. It was, Ryan. It, was, it was Ryan. That's hilarious. And Phil actually knew his sister because they grew Childhood up like friend. right down the street from it's each small, other. Small world here. I love it. Everybody knows yeah. everyone. And I just ran into Justin Filson, who's building a house right across the street from us, which is super cool. Him yeah, and Ed and his dude. brother. Her, his sister used to pick me up on a four-wheeler and just like, romp through the fields. It was real fun. It's so awesome. First time I ever rode a dirt bike. Look, Phil's having yet, I mean, how many drinks is that today? Four? Hey, Ballpark hey, it. Hey, 
four. He's four o'clock. He is. He can do whatever He's on he vacay. Wants. Um, so we got corn, we corn. got potatoes, yep. we got onion, we got plums, watermelon, and cantaloupe. Plums. I feel it down into my plums. We got food for tomorrow night, but for tonight we decided we need to go out and get something to eat. So I think we're gonna go first to Coliseum and we're gonna do some bowling and have like little appetizers and then we're gonna go to, oh, do we decide where we're gonna go? No, we haven't decided yet. We have not so decided. Stay tuned. Somewhere with headroom. <laughs> Look at the city back there. All right, we have arrived at the Coliseum. We're gonna do some bowling. They actually had some Glen Levitt 12, so I did the whiskey on the rocks. I think Bill's having, I don't know what Bill's having. Bill comes in here, says he's gonna smoke everybody. Look at him, big fat zero on his first throw. What do you, and then he ran out of here. That he's little, that little bitch, look at him. How's that feel? You get the right size ball. Yeah, uh-huh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, well, I hit a spare and two strikes, and I just missed the third strike. Let's see what teams can pick this up. Here goes Phil. Let's go, Phil. Get that spin. Ooh, oh, he got a spin. Oh, just shot. All right, Phil has to just knock that one down. That's all he has to do. One job, and he failed. He failed. All right, final round. Phil finished with a 79. Jared has 126. What you got for us? Oh, cracked under pressure, but got one. All right, can he get a spare to get one more chance? And he does! Oh, you get to go one more time. Final one. So he got three, but really two, because one was missing. Tina Wieners with the strike in her final round. I have 140. Can she beat me? I don't think she can. Let's see, let's see where she's at. Hold on. Oh, never mind. No, no, she has half my score. Okay, go, go pull another strike, babe. Good job. There it is. Final score. Phil, 79. Pierre Bear, 140. Christina, 109. Mister, I'm going to beat you all. Look at him. It was a warm up game. He redlined my car and then fucking shit game. the bed in bowling. Enough about the redline. I'm ready for that shit tomorrow. Look at this guy. Right? Everything looks normal and then you look at this. Look. It's like a four year old that spills hot sauce on his shorts. Look at. What did you do, Phil? Why did that happen? Hot sauce. Look at, him. Some hot sauce. <laughs> Look at that view of Harrisburg. Yeah. That's what we got. Beautiful. That's all we got right there. Woohoo, Harrisburg! Yeah. Oh god. We also have the Susquehanna. The old Susquehanna. It's actually it's actually not that bad, right, teams? Do you dig it? It's a Native American Can you dig it? Name. It's a Native American name. That's what you brought they to the YouTube she... video? It's a Native American name. Mama, mama, mama. Okay. Thanks for letting us know. Where are we going, Phil? I don't know. You're going piano straight? Bar? No, I mean, where are we going to? We are going to Carly's. It's a piano bar. Carly's? Yep. Right next okay. to McGrath's. Can we bang her? Mm, I don't think she's in. Uh, downtown Harrisburg. I actually kind of like it down here. Well, what's this line? I don't know why. We got some bikers behind us. I don't know if you guys can see them. Looks like a R6. Maybe two R6s. Is there an R6 and an R1? Let's jump out the Listen next to them. Beat them up. Just ripping through downtown Harrisburg. Oh, there they are. Oh, it's a Repsol CBR and an R6. That was way off. Damn it. Look at this. We rolled up and there's a little biker meetup going on. Got some uh, Harley baggers, some Jixers, some uh, R1s. Look at this. Can Ams, all kinds of stuff. There's a the CBR and the R6 uh, from earlier. Even the old school Suzuki 600. What's up, boys? So anyway, we're gonna be here at Restaurante uh, Carly's, the piano bar, and then I'll show you guys where we're at. So we're gonna sit right here at the bar. We got some piano that they're about to play. I love being at the bar because you can just get primo, primo service. What do you think, Phil? You used to work here at one point? Phil used to live in downtown Harrisburg. He worked at pretty much every bar slash restaurant in Harrisburg. The equivalent of this, it's right around the corner. Mm -hmm. And that's my old manager, Michael, right there. That's amazing. Yeah. And you also I was 23 when I worked there. 23. Mm -hmm. Wow. And just for reference, he's now 75. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks good for his age. It's pretty good for my age. All right, starting off with some drinks. Phil, what'd you have? It's a Stella Stelly. Stelly. I had a Amoski mule and Tina Wieners is having. A surprise drink with vodka. How is it? It has vodka. Is it I, good? I haven't tried it. 
Oh. And we got some piano music playing in the background. It's fantastic. Starting off with some Korean. Korean, Korean cocktail meatballs. You know a lot about balls, don't you? No. Are you the go-to balls lady? Huh? Ah. All right. We got spinach artichoke dip with some bread. And we also got some Bavarian pretzels with some a mustard. This looks really good. I'm excited. I'm going. Phil, are you going in for it? <laughs> That's really hot. <laughs> that is You're such so a little so kid. Hot. So this is a cannoli dip. Not yeah. sure what it is, but I uh -huh. think it's cannoli with chocolate chips. And then some like wafer bread cold sticks. Actually, it looks really good. I, cannoli actually, chips and dip. Cannoli chips and dip. That's what it is. Let's see, stick it in your mouth. Oh my god. How is it? It's exactly like a cannoli. Yeah? <laughs> it's good? Really good. Oh. He does. He does. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, lemon drops okay. for the boys. Drop. Thanks to these Courtesy ladies. Beautiful these ladies. beautiful ladies. Cheers. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> Go, Phil, go, Phil, go, Phil, go, go, go. All right, so it's the following day. It's now Saturday. Um, we're gonna head to the gym and to get some breakfast. I stopped filming last night because we were drinking and got a little bit out of control. <laughs> so we're a, bit, a little bit hungover, but we're still going to the gym, aren't we, Phil? I'm wearing your glasses because I forgot mine. They actually look really good on you. Okay. Uh, Phil said he wants redemption in the R8 for his shitty shifting. Yep. So he's gonna drive the R8 today. Alex is coming with us. We team. Have a problem. What? Because of Christina's seat. Look, this car is a truck. Look at how far up it is. Wait, you know what to do, right? Yeah, I know, but it's just like, oh my god. You just gosh. hold number two down. Look, it moves everything steering wheel, seat, uh, mirrors. It's pretty badass. God, All right, Alex, give us a cold start of this bad boy. Alrighty. Yeah. Yesterday, before I started filming, I actually was helping my dad digging a hole for a basketball hoop um, for work. He was actually helping out his boss. And I had to dig 36 inches, and it was like 24 inches around. And my freaking forearms and triceps and shoulders are all super, super sore from that. I actually used to do that with my friend, uh, Pincus. He had a construction company and a roofing company, and I used to do that on the weekends. And let me tell you, it makes me appreciate what the hell we do now because that shit is no joke. So for all of you people out there that are doing manual labor daily like my dad, shout out to you guys, man. That shit is no joke. All right, Philly Poo's gonna try and get some redemption here. I told him I think what he screwed up on yesterday is he started with the RPMs way too high. That's what the problem, there it is. There you go, see? When you hit those shifts right, you see how, how smooth it is? Yeah. It almost like jumps forward too, you know? I did it a, uh, I, was, I was being a little too. I, I could have actually hit You weren't putting your foot down. You weren't putting your foot down all the way. Oh, be careful, this cop set up here. <laughs> I think that might have been the cop. You see how freaking touchy the brakes are? Yeah, they're I'm like, touchy. be careful, you go. <laughs> <laughs> how was it, Alex? Dude, this car's amazing. <laughs> it's so easy. You look good. In, yeah, there's so many cameras everywhere, right? Like, if you crash this car, you're like... Pretty much an idiot. You're an idiot, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> he said he's a little bit afraid of the R8. Does that have any, like, safety features? It, it really doesn't. It's a race car, man. And every time Phil it's hits the brakes, I feel like he's gonna kill us. <laughs> but, man, those look good together. Nothing like bringing two supercars to a diner. <laughs> yeah. Guys, check this out. We're gonna stop by uh, my brother, uh, my brother's son's lacrosse game later today. He's playing three of them. Watch him lay this kid out right here. He's running up right there. That's Nate. Watch. Boom! <laughs> Just laid him out. I love it. All right, food has arrived and it looks incredible. I went with scrambled eggs, um, hash browns, some wheat toast, and some bacon. We all got the same thing. We pretty oh. much all got the same. <laughs> Except I got turkey sausage. Phil added sausage and Alex added an egg, right? I think oh sourdough and sourdough bread. Yeah, sourdough bread. So this looks incredible. I'm stoked. By the way, Alex just had a really good point. This breakfast in Santa Barbara would be like eighteen dollars here. $9.95. All right, so that was actually really good. What do you think, Phil? Uh, it was pretty good. For a local diner, Alex, Amazing. Do, you, do you like it? Yeah, it was super good. 
Guy um, Fieri went there. Guy Fieri went there. Guy Fieri posted or pictures all That's over. That's all that really matters. He's been up in there. He had time to get all the way to central Pennsylvania, but not to get his hair the right fucking color. What do you hey. mean? <laughs> it's it's yeah, blonde. Hair? Yeah. He has like blonde dyed tips. That was from like 1993. That's when Flavor Town was um, founded. Flavor Town. I can't so. stand Guy Fieri's ha haircut. It's ridiculous, <laughs> dude. Like, he's a 50 year old man, dude. Stop dyeing your he's, tips blonde. That's what he's known for, man. That's great. He's known for being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to the gym. Let's get a workout in. Get, get rid of some of this animosity. Phil's done driving the R8. He lost his privileges. Too many red lines. All right, we have arrived at LA Fitness, and every time I look back at that R8, I just love it more and more. Phil's checking out a sedan, because apparently he's a family man now. Are you, cool, you a family man now? I like this. Ah, uh, it's not my thing. It's dope. And I should like it, because it's it Italian. Does, do you think it looks cooler than like a BMW? I don't like the front grill. Does it look, yes, it does look cooler than a BMW. Not Mercedes though. All right, let's go hit a workout. All right, so full body workout is complete. If you guys wanna get jacked like your boys, uh, you can go to jcamfit.com or you can check out my lifting playlist on my YouTube channel. Just check it out uh, down in my YouTube. Like, go to my channel, you'll find it. Anywho, we're gonna go, I think we gotta go pick up Christina and then get some groceries because we're, because we're gonna host the uh, Conor McGregor fight tonight. And we're gonna grill up some steaks and some of those fresh veggies we got from the farmer's market. Mmm. Special two for one. <laughs> two plums for one. <laughs> well, we ended up back outside at the pool until we go see uh, my brother's uh, son, Nate, play. Teens is gonna try the pool shot. Phil hit it on his first try, Teens. First try? I think his first, yeah. I think he made, he made two in a row. I think you missed your first one, first then you made two in a row, yeah. Oh, so let's see what you got. Watch this, wide left, here we go. Oh, damn! No, it was pretty close though. How's the water feel? Incredible. It's like 83 degrees in here, look at this. Wow, wowskers. She, you have a breathtaking hiney. Everyone's been so nice to me. <laughs> Everyone's been really nice. Well, that's because you got big boobs. <laughs> I mean, your boobs are huge. <laughs> I mean, I want to squeeze them. All right, let's see if you got it. Let's go. Number two. Mommy. Let's go, teens. No. It's a very hard shot. We should play some volleyball. Where's Alex? Yeah, he's always just sitting inside. He's such a weirdo. So if you guys ever wonder how we get the cool photos for the gram, I don't know if you can see the phone or not, but I just use portrait mode on my phone, and then I'll show you what the shots look like. Check these out. Look at this, all shot on the iPhone. Look how cool that is, look at that one. And then that's what she'll use for Instagram, and then we'll do sexier ones for her OnlyFans and stuff. How cool is that, look at that, whoops. Look at that shot. With a freaking iPhone, dude. Like, what? I don't even use my DSLR anymore. That's crazy, I just use portrait mode, one times. This is an iPhone 11 Pro. And the 12 is probably even better. Look how cool that is. There you go, tip from your Uncle Jer. Now she thinks it's a good idea to dive in the shallow end. I'm not sure why. Let's see what happens. Look at her. She doesn't even know what to do with herself. Pretty nice dive. Pretty nice dive, I'll give you that. How was that, a good dive? It was good. <laughs> I'd give, I give it a seven. Phil, can, no way he's hitting that. Oh, it was actually pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. I love it here. Look at this. Just nobody around. As loud as we want to be. Dicking off. Yeah. Fuck it. Ready? All right, Phil. Third time's a charm, right? Oh, ouch. Jared's going to try it. Is this your first time, Jared? First time. Oh, sorry, we can't show that. He's in his boxers. Oh, yeah. Or that's just for women. <laughs> All right, here we go. You got this. We believe in you. Oh, just short. I need a little bit more. No. All right, so we're heading to Central Dolphin East to watch uh, my, my nephew Nate play some lacrosse. Phil is driving Christina's car in front of me and Christina's with him, so I'm rolling solo right now, which is kind of nice because I drive like a dick and everybody always complains about it in the passenger seat. So yeah, we're just enjoying a nice ride right now. Phil's a lot more fun to follow than Christina because he actually drives like a man, teens. Drives like a little pussy bitch. Uh, I'm kidding, teens is great. Not really. 
check this out. Porsche GT3, I believe. Or GT2 or GT3? Which one? GT3 RS. Jared Bear was right. Join the party, brother. Come on in. Dude, there was literally <laughs> no parking anywhere. That's we good had though. to drive That's so good. far away. I parked in between a minivan and a truck, which means my car is definitely getting hit by a door. <laughs> Phil, I let or Teen's car, they parked on the end, which is really nice. But there's like seven fields. There's gotta be like, what do you think? A thousand people here? There's a lot of people. Maybe it's more. A lot. God we bless find, all of these parents. Relax, yeah, we baby. gotta find the we gotta find the, the fan bams. Alright. There's Nate right there in the red helmet. Playing D. He's been doing really well today. He does not let people buy. I think they're winning like 7-2 right now. So they are, they're, they have a good, this is a club team. This isn't like for school. So this is their first day, first game of the day. Oh shoot. There you go, Nate. Get it, Nate. Look at that. I love that Nate has a red helmet so I can actually see him. There they go. This is actually really fun to watch. Oh man. Dude, they, they freaking smash each other. It's pretty epic. I broke a kid's rib once. But I, last weekend, I think they had their first tournament, this team. I think it's called like the money team. And they won their first tournament. So hopefully they do well today. Get him, Nate. Oh, yeah, Nate. Yes. Good job, Nate. Dude, he's a beast. He's a savage. I thought I was going to lay out the ref there. <laughs> So good job, Nate. Nice. Good. High five. Yes. For the win, baby. <laughs> Dude, you gotta be. You're gonna hug him? Yeah. Hold on. Dude, we saw. Turn around, turn around. We saw you laying people out. Yeah. Thank oh. You. Look, I like oh. his money shorts. Is that your team name, Money? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> You're sweating. All right, so we're just leaving the game. We're gonna head to the grocery store and get some uh, some food to cook on the grill. And Tanner Wieners is driving now. What's up? I'll get behind you. I'll, I'll sacrifice. I'll go slower. Since we know my car is faster. I don't know why, but every time I see a cop, especially with their lights on, I feel like they're pulling me over. But so far they haven't. And why the hell would you put a stop sign right before an on-ramp? This is like the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is so dangerous. What the hell, Pennsylvania? Yeah. That's funny. I so it was an SUV, that, that, that cop that was sitting there, because we had to pull out fast to, like, to not get hit in traffic. Um, he's right up there. He just drove by us and he shook his finger at me I think to be like hey, don't don't drive like an asshole and then he gave me a thumbs up for the, having a nice car and but that ramp was awful. That ramp Yeah, was what, what, what were we supposed to do? To yeah, we had to We had to do it. Um, he said he did the same thing to teens He gave teens a thumbs up and said and shook his finger like don't race. I don't know yeah, I don't know what he was saying. I think he said he watches our channels. Hey, if the cop that was uh, in this video, if you watch my video, leave a comment down below. We'll find out. We'll get to the bottom of this. We never race, by the way, if you're watching our channel or drive fast, ever. All right, we're in Wegmans. It's ridiculously busy for some reason. Uh, we're getting some scallops and some shrimp, and then we got some fillets. Bam. Look grass at these fed. puppies. Oh, grass-fed and some chicken. Sure. We're gonna do all that with the farm's fresh stuff that we got. So we got avocados too, oh, and a couple other things. Teens wanted to get the drumsticks because that's how she rolls. All right, let's go. And of course, we're Phil good. needs more white balls. Are we good? Yeah. Are we out of here? All right, we're out of here. I actually love this. This grocery store is amazing. It's nice, but Isn't why it? is it so busy today? It's Saturday in the middle of the day. You know what I mean? I guess we only and go shopping nice at like nine o'clock. Yeah, we always come at literally nine o'clock at night, and nobody's here. It's like the best thing in the world. Also, look at this stuff at Wegmans. All pre-cooked, ready to go. What I normally do is I'll get like these lemon cooked chicken breasts and then I'll do like uh, broccoli and then get like uh, mashed potatoes or I'll do like rice. Look at all this. And then boom, there's your meals. They have roasted turkey. They have all kinds of stuff. Now, I try to stay away from the fried chicken and all that. But um, yeah, I mean, look at all this shit. That's all just ready to go. It's amazing. You can even get pre-cooked meals. A little more expensive if you do it that way. But look at that chicken parmesan with spaghetti, meatloaf. It's freaking badass. You can even get plantains. I absolutely love this. So, although you guys see on our channels, like me eating, well, us eating out a lot and eating semi bad foods, for the majority of our meals, we try to eat healthy and then we exercise as well. That's how we're able to, you know, stay in shape but also drink and eat foods that we enjoy and stuff like that. It's all about balance. That's what it's all about. Look at this guy. He's like a little kid. It's like. 
take him anywhere. It's like living with a little kid. Now the question is, will this all fit It'll in the fit all in, my in the cars? Yeah. No. Thank God for the Corvette. See? See? Pop the That's rear. Why you need a pop the rear thing. Okay. Oh, you no, can pop that. it. Pop the other thing, <laughs> Watch. Look at all this space, Phil. Boom. And there's a front too. Look at that. I bet we could fit everything just right here in the back of this. Oh, That's water. crazy. Water I'll film, Phil. That's awesome. You do it all. I'll film it. Just to make sure. Just to make sure it fits. You know what I mean? The only problem out about this rear trunk is it gets super hot because the motor is literally right there. That's the only problem. But I don't think there's anything. We don't have any ice cream, do we? Uh -huh. You just go straight for the donut. Just go straight at it. I haven't ate all day. I was just so talking about how we how we eat healthy most of the time, and then she just pulls a donut out and starts eating it. Look at her. So protein donut. When I said we, I really just meant me. She eats like dog doo doo. Open the frunk. Look at her. So it all fit. Pretty much. Yeah, the water. You could have made it, but it doesn't matter. I can do it. No, no, it doesn't matter. You can put it in the front. Yeah. All right, sweet. We out. Hey, Phil. How did it feel to get smoked? <laughs> huh? I mean, I don't know if you really smoked me, but. No? Yeah. Come on. This thing is more powerful than you would think. Being down 100 horsepower, it does pretty well. Teens, I was uh, shifting pretty clean there, wouldn't you say? Okay. Paddle shifting pretty clean. Was he, was he shifting better? Mama Dukes is here. What's up? I got cracked when I saw that cop sitting there with his lights on. Where? I oh, at the, yeah. And then he pulls out in front of me. Wait, he did? Yeah. I Wait, he, he followed he us. Yes. Yeah, so See, he did, he did pull out. He did pull out. He came up to us and then went like this. He thought we were racing, but we were just trying to We were just to trying to get on the highway, highway and not die. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but he came by like this, and then he gave me a thumbs up. He said, yeah. racing. That's hilarious, dude. We were literally. all the way to camp with us. Yeah, I am. Yeah, he followed us. We, he, he escorted us all the way back. He came out right in front of me. He went like this. And I said, you know, I uh -huh. go, of course. Yeah, said, he, can't, he caught up to us. He waved, and I thought, oh, Did he put his You thought he was going to get us? No, but I prayed. I thought, oh, dear God. I called Christine, and I go, there's... Holy yeah. Holy crap, man. Okay, guys, I don't need any help. Hey, Mom, I called Christine, and I was like, there's a cop behind us, so don't do anything stupid. And, of course, he followed us. And I then he was waiting to see what we were going to do. That's what he was doing. I know. All right, Phil's making some marinades for us. What's this one here, Phil? Uh, that's like a for hibachi uh, marinade. Uh huh. Got a little hoisin sauce. You're gonna do some soy sauce. Um, <clears throat> about four tablespoons of this, and then we're gonna do a little bit of sesame oil. About two tablespoons of that. This sucker. This is gonna be good. And then what are you gonna do? Just put the meat in here and yep. kind of roll it around it for a little around, bit. Put it in the fridge for about thirty minutes. Okay. Um, and then we'll slice it up, throw it on the hibachi grill. Yeah, and then we also got some, let's see, uh, some garlic. I think this is like roasted garlic that you guys gave me. It looks pretty good. It's, yeah, that's like a roasted garlic. Yeah. And then I'll use a little garlic powder as well. Oh my God, I'm ready. It's a little salt pepper. I'm excited for this. Oh. oh my God. Oh no. We're gonna have to do that one again. <laughs> Brian just showed up in the Hellcat Red Eye. We always gotta get some exhaust revs, bud. You pull this puppy up here. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, I'll be honest, it sounds good, but you need to put an exhaust on it. Yeah, no. It, it would sound good. so good, dude. You need to get rid of the mid muffler. Yes. Oh my god, because you can hear it in there, you know. Yeah, but it's just getting restricted. Yeah. I know. I just had a guy on a Mustang pass me, and <laughs> was it loud? Going the other way. It's always the Mustangs. It sounds tinny as loud. Why is that? It's loud. Oh, yeah. Obnoxious. Sometimes they sound good. You can put exhaust on those and they yeah. sound really good. Yeah. All right. We're about to grill up I some wanna, stuff. I know. I see yeah. That. Look at this. This was the aftermath of him burning himself with the grill the other That's day. What happens when you drink too much. Oh, don't drink, kids. That's <laughs> brutal. All right. Dotto has arrived. He came with sour beers. He also brought a bunch of crackers and cheese. Some of his Dazzle. famous Dazzle. smoked Dazzle. cheese. Look at this. Oh yes, that's amazing. So he's he also brought a board. He's gonna do a charcuterie charcuterie plate for us, Phil, to uh, go with dinner. Phil's over here cooking. Look at this. How freaking cool is this? Our our gourmet kitchen is finally being used. He's got uh, steak going right now. Yep. What up? You made homemade dip. See him. He's got the hood up. That comes up out of the ground or out of the uh, countertop. Pretty badass. Look at this, dude. What is that? Smoked pork. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, okay, I'm not taking all that from you though. What? 
You, uh, you're gonna give me all that? We gotta eat, right? And we got it. Oh knife. my god! Look at, that knife. Look at this knife! Sponsored by, what is this, Cooking Guild? Yeah, the Cooking Guild. Dude, that is crazy. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. Okay, cool. That looks so good, Phil. Damn, this is food porn. I hope you guys are eating and drinking with us <laughs> at home on YouTube. All right, we got scallops and shrimp going in. Look scallops, at this. I'm gonna do traditional, like just with butter and salt. Uh -huh. Yeah. And like just brown them. I like it. Uh, not in the, uh, not in the sauce. Okay. Cool. This teriyaki or this uh, hibachi sauce is for everything else. Dude, this how is how is the uh, kitchen, Phil? It's, there's a lot of room in here. <laughs> it's really nice. There's 18 people in the kitchen, and I'm not annoyed. And you're not annoyed. I love it. Dada, what are you making? Um, um, it was a I'm drinking bit, uh, a strawberry sour. How is it? I'm gonna try, try, try this. Dude, all these sours are amazing. Um, that's been about five minutes, Steve. Super crispy. Oh my gosh. Never even heard of these. Cucumber, apricot, strawberry, and raspberry. Wow. The guy there is like, he's God. Like, the hell out of these yeah, that's yeah, really good. Yeah, give me a case. <laughs> so I got uh, some multi grain toasted chips, mm -hmm. sour oh, cream and I onion. Love sour cream and onion. And some veggie. Those are also very good. I'm gonna good. do some meats. Oh I my god. Three types of cheeses. <laughs> and then I made a smoke Guys, cream cheese. Guys, you could cheese. smell this. Yeah. It smells unbelievable. Smoke cream cheese, garlic, chives, everything's fresh. And I, I got dill I put in there. Oh. Thank god I have talented friends. I don't do anything. <laughs> Look at this lineup right here. Dada, what, what kind of stuff do we have here? Provolone and mozzarella. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> So we have Italian dry salami, peppered salami, and Calabrese salami. Good God. And we're I, running out of room. I thought I had a big board with yeah. me. What the know? heck, dude? So We'll fill it back in with other stuff, I We'll guess. fill it back in. Uh -huh. And then Phil's over here cooking scallops. Look at those. One of my favorite foods. I love scallops. They're so freaking good. God, those look good, Phil. Yeah. That's what I've been waiting for. Get them in that butter right there. Oh, right everything now. looks so good. I'm so excited right now. Go ahead, everybody eat. Incredible. All right, should we start eating? All right, we're sitting down at the dinner table. We got the whole fam here, and it's amazing. I did a little bit of everything, pretty much just threw it all on there, and it tastes incredible. Phil did a great scallop. job. Look yeah, scallop. look at the scallop. Look at that. Look at the brine on that thing. Oh, so good. We got the meat tray right here. We're cheersing. Hey, cheers, everybody. These are the moments that I that I couldn't wait for in the new house, cheers. and I'm happy cheers. to share it with all of you and all of you on YouTube. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. All right, so Phil got us some... Packages, some presents. Okay. This is a surprise. He said they're for teens. Oh no, this is something I ordered. That's, that's not for you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Not, not thanks for, for the heavy duty cleaner, <laughs> bud. Dude, I appreciate I it. Yeah, heavy man, duty cleaner. No yeah. Oh my thanks. God, he got cat toys. Oh no. Oh my God. God. Kill you for this. That's just what we needed. More. That one, that one rolls around and has a little thing. Oh, on this is the one that shakes its tail. And that's more cat that toys. Around. We can put that in the pool and let the cats try to oh, get it. And get electrocuted. Get yeah. Oh, unbelievable. What is and this? And look, thing? it comes with catnip. You just stuff catnip oh, inside that's the fish. Hilarious. Cool. Well, I'm not happy, but I'm sure she's stoked. This means you don't have to play with your cats. You just put, you hit on. It's like an iPad for your kids? Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Now we don't even have to be cat parents. All right, so as I mentioned, we've got people coming over for the Conor McGregor fight, so there's gonna be a lot of people here and it's probably gonna get crazy. We're gonna be drinking and streaking and God knows what else. Just kidding, we don't do that for kids who are watching. I'm, I was kidding, it was a joke. So I think we're gonna sign out the video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Another uh, Campisi special, what, probably 45 minutes to an hour vlog, I would say. So if you guys like this type of content, let us know in the comment section below. Uh, let us know what you thought of the Porsche uh, Cayman. I still think the Mercedes is number one on my list. What do you think, teams? Yeah, no, Mercedes is number one on my list. And uh, thank you, Dotto and Phil, for all the food. It was freaking amazing. Phil, thanks for, coming up. thanks for coming up to visit. He drove through a freaking hurricane to get to us. You gosh darn right I did. <laughs> So yeah, we had a freaking blast. So pretty much every time Phil comes up, we're gonna be doing vlogs. If you guys have ideas, things you'd like to see on the, on the channel, let us know. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.